Welcome to the Florida FAFSA Challenge Site Coordinator Virtual Training. First, FCAN would like to thank Cornerstone Funder Helios Education Foundation for their generous support of the College Ready Florida initiatives. In this training, we will discuss FCAN's Florida FAFSA Challenge, what it is, recognition opportunities, and making the most of the FAFSA Challenge with FCAN and partner resources. Completing a FAFSA is the most important step to making college affordable, yet students leave $300 million, on the $300 million on the table by not completing the FAFSA each year, money they would have qualified for had they completed the form. For many students, this can keep them from attending college. FAFSA completion is one of the best indicators of whether a student will attend college. The students who would most benefit are often the ones who don't complete it. That's why it is so important we help more students know the importance of completing the FAFSA and helping them do so. In 2015, FCAN created the Florida FAFSA Challenge. The good news is we have grown the challenge from 47 participating schools that first year to now over 500 schools in Florida taking on the challenge. But while we made progress in the early years, FAFSA completions in Florida have decreased over the last couple of years. That's why we need your help to ensure students understand the importance and how to receive support along the way with the FAFSA. The Florida FAFSA Challenge is a friendly competition that encourages schools, districts, and communities to provide encouragement and support as students complete their FAFSA. The goal of the Florida FAFSA Challenge is to increase the proportion of high school seniors that complete a FAFSA. The challenge asks schools and districts to increase their FAFSA completion rate by five percentage points or more than last year. There are recognition opportunities for schools and districts that are making significant strides in their FAFSA completion. All schools and districts who reach their 5% goal will be recognized as a FAFSA champion. MVP is for those schools and districts with the highest overall rates of FAFSA completion. Most improved is for those with the highest increase in FAFSA completion over the previous year. At the end of the challenge, the highest performing schools and districts will receive very special recognition from FCAM. The school with the highest overall rates of FAFSA completion and those that are most improved in each of the small, medium, and large school categories and small and large district categories will receive a trophy. Representatives of these schools and districts are honored at the annual FCAN Summit in the spring where they are presented with their trophies on stage at the awards ceremony. Each school and district that meets the goal of increasing their FAFSA completion rate by five percentage points over last year's completion will receive a certificate recognizing them as a FAFSA champion. They are also recognized on social media with badges for schools and districts to display and share this accomplishment virtually. The challenge season runs from October 1st when the FAFSA becomes available through March 31st. This end date is to encourage early completion of the FAFSA and meet any early priority deadlines. As some financial aid is awarded on a first come first served basis, we want to encourage students to complete the FAFSA as close to October 1st as possible. There are several resources to support you in making the most of the Florida FAFSA challenge. We have the first look FAFSA completion dashboard you can think of this as the fall dashboard. This dashboard only lists schools and their FAFSA completion numbers since the application opened on October 1st. When looking at this dashboard, you will not see your progress towards your FAFSA completion goal or what category your school and district fall under pertaining to the overall FAFSA challenge. You will only see how many FAFSAs have been completed. This dashboard also compares these FAFSA completion numbers to last year's completion numbers at the same point so you can see if you're ahead of where you were last year. The full FAFSA Challenge dashboard is typically published in January and updated weekly, so you can keep track of your progress. This dashboard has different filters for you to compare your school and district to others that are similar to yours. This dashboard also calculates your FAFSA completion goal for you with the little black lines on the bar graph. Once you find your school in the dashboard, you can click on the green bar next to it, which will take you to the school detail view. 
On this detailed page, you will see your school or district's data for the current FAFSA cycle compared to last year's. You can track the total estimated amount of Pell Grants earned by FAFSA completers at your school or in the district. In this example, you can see that Citrus County earned over $200 million in Pell Grants for the students who completed the FAFSA as of June 24, 2022. That's $2 million that they did not need to raise locally to develop their local talent. Also notice the number of FAFSA submitted versus completed. Some FAFSAs are submitted with errors in the 2020-21 year. Counselors and community volunteers can work one-on-one -on -one with students to complete their FAFSA and make sure it is free of errors. We encourage all school districts to complete a data sharing agreement with the Florida Department of Education so that your schools can gain access to student level FAFSA completion information. The contact at the Florida Department of Education for this process is Pedro Fernandez and his contact information can be found on this slide. This is particularly important in some schools where there are high portions of students who start a FAFSA but don't complete one. That way counselors will know who needs extra support. In assisting students and families to complete the FAFSA, these are the top mistakes made on the forum and to keep an eye out for uh, and some reasons why students' FAFSA may be considered submitted but not complete. As you can see, some of these common mistakes can be easily avoided. Most schools participating in the challenge hold FAFSA financial aid events where students and parents can get help completing a FAFSA from financial aid experts. Connect with your local state college or university to speak and assist at your event. For your in-person events, invite elected officials and the media if this is allowed. This shares a positive story of your school that elected officials can align with, helps leaders understand the hurdles and challenges students face, helps build a college-going culture in your community, and also helps potentially garner more community support. Also try to take pictures, you can use them to promote the event the following year, help volunteers visualize their roles, use them in district media coverage and to promote your event on social media if allowed, and use them to help parents learn more about supports available. FKIN is here to help by creating and sharing many useful resources around paying for college. You can find and register for the College Ready Florida initiatives on the FCAN website at floridacollegeaccess.org slash initiatives. We encourage you to register for the FAFSA challenge to access all the free resources we offer, including our FAFSA stickers, which you can order when you register. We are constantly adding new helpful resources to these pages. So if you see a need for a student or parent handout, please let us know. Registering with FCAN gets you free stuff such as such as stickers and any new promotional items. If you register to participate in any of the initiatives, we also send weekly tips and strategies to keep the momentum going through the College Ready Florida Coordinator mailing list. We will also keep you up to date on new resources we create and other great resources we find that can help you. Here are some of the FAFSA Challenge resources that FCAM provides, including the FAFSA Challenge Toolkit, the Data Dashboard, and handouts that could help with completing the FAFSA. FCAM provides supports and resources to help you plan and implement each of the College Ready Florida initiatives at your school. Site coordinator guides are available for each initiative and include timelines and checklists for planning your events and suggested activities and templates. Student and parent resources are available in English in a select few in Haitian Creole and Spanish. Technical assistance for outreach to businesses such as letters and transcripts and volunteer recruitment training materials is also available. A few more FAFSA resources include the top five reasons to complete the FAFSA, how to pay for college and where to find scholarships. Utilizing financial aid is the norm in paying for college, whether it be federal, state, or college-based aid. The way to access that money is by completing a FAFSA. We've created a one-pager you can share with students and families to help them understand the importance of completing the FAFSA. Resources can be found on our Florida FAFSA Challenge page. FGAN has created two handouts outlining what students need to fill out the FAFSA form. 
On this, students have the ability to write down usernames, passwords, and any other important information needed to access their FAFSA. These handouts are available in English and Spanish. Along with that, visit FKN's FAFSA Challenge page for a recording and slides of the FAFSA training and walkthrough to, do, to prepare for FAFSA season. This can help you support students with the form and answer any questions they may have. Scholarships can be found at all levels, including through the school that the student plans to attend, employers, the state via the Florida financial aid application, and even national sources. One of the best sources outside of the college or career and technical school a student plans to attend is the student's local community. Communities are invested in supporting their students and seeing them succeed. FCAN has started a compilation on our website with links to local community and education foundations and scholarship portals from across the state. Lastly, to help students keep track of everything, one of our partners, Champions for Learning in Collier County, has shared this resource with us that their local students use to keep track of their college applications and organize scholarships that they have or intend to apply to, as well as any criteria and materials they need for those applications and the status of their applications. This is available on the Apply Yourself Florida webpage on our website. In conclusion, we invite you to register your school to take the FAFSA challenge. You can find out more information and register at floridacollegeaccess.org slash initiatives. To stay in the know about upcoming webinars and other helpful resources, sign up for email updates on our website at floridacollegeaccess.org slash subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Thank you for being part of the movement to ensure that today's students are prepared for tomorrow's jobs.